Jim Conlon. Hi, Mo. You're nearly heading in now since you were drafted 2012. It's nearly a decade now in the NBA. From you started off as there as a rookie, and there's a good lot of young rookies here in the Sacramento Kings dressing room. What have you sort of learned uh, throughout the years now that you can sort of relay back to the, the young teams that they have here in Sacramento? You know, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of came in in a similar situation. It was, I think it was like four or five rookies in my rookie year. You know, we, all, we all leaned on each other a little bit. Um, but you know, I think I think important for me, you know, just to just be there if they have any questions, you know, uh, be available for any advice or anything like that. And when I see things to just kind of, you know, give little pointers every now and then. But you kind of, everybody has their own journey. Everybody's journey is different. Um, so you could just give back as much as you can to help them, but you can't, there's no, there's no blueprint to it. And Mo, I suppose you have been around an awful lot of teams that had good win stretches, good long stretches, uh, lost stretches, obviously, as well uh, throughout the decades uh, in the NBA. What is it sort of like maybe galvanizing youngsters that maybe are going through a sort of a rough patch, maybe coming off a five a match uh, losing streak or something, just to turn that corner and get momentum back on, the, on your side again? Is that something that's challenging for young NBA players? And is that where your experience will come into the fall this year? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. You know, this, this season, it's a long season. Um, there's going to be good times. There's going to be bad times. But the, the most important thing I think that we all have to understand is that we just got to stay consistent, uh, stay consistent with our approach, stay cons consistent with our pre preparation, how we play, um, and let everything else kind of take care of itself. Like, we're going to lose some games. And we're going to win some games, but as long as we stay focused and stay locked in and kind of just stay the course the whole season, um, I think we can live with the results.